Our final stop in Beijing would be the Ming Tombs, the ancestral shrine for Zhu Di and his descendants. Both the Ming Tombs and the spirit path that leads to them are also the names of acupuncture points on the human body. The spirit path is a point located on the spine between the shoulder blades and represents the connection ancient emperors had with their ancestor. The tombs themselves are represented by an acupuncture point called the spirit ancestor, which is also located on the spine between the heart and an area of the lower abdomen related to the kidney, called the gate of destiny, where human potential is stored. This point acts as a bridge, connecting the heart and kidney functions together and results in the fulfillment of one's destiny in life. So, it's all symbolic of, of the spirit and the development of the spirit. Remember that the emperor is the symbol of the spirit in the heart. So, this spirit path connects to that part of the spirit which is in every person. This wasn't just the place where the emperor was buried or the, the, the road through which his casket was carried before his final resting place. It was also the road through which his children and, and the living people that wanted to pay tribute to him as an ancestor would travel in order to connect with him. So it's a way that people connect back through the ancestors, back through these line of succession of emperors, all the way back to the beginning, all the way back to Tao in that resting place. So we're going to be recapitulating that process in ourselves as we walk down this path. So that was the path into the area. Now we want to go into the area itself. We want to go to the tomb itself. So, so wonder where those tombs are. Can't look at that mountain over there. I think in, in, in time, these things become symbols. The things that the emperor did became symbols of what consciousness does, because the emperor is a symbol of the spirit that is established and resides in the heart. And the concept of Tian Ming, the heavenly mandate, it in Zhou Dynasty times was something that was reserved for the emperor. Then later it became something that especially through the development of the acupuncture system, where all of these symbols became internalized into every person. And then it's all distilled down into this very simple Taiji Chuen form and the simple Taoist meditation forms. And you can do it on your own. <laughs> 